Hi folks, we're having a little look today at my old uh, Ham International Jumbo, an old uh, 11 10 meter base station from the uh, early 80s. I have this one about 6-7 years possibly. Bought from eBay purely on a nostalgia trip, simply because when I was uh, 13 or 14 I simply couldn't afford one. And my friend's brother had one and we thought it was just an absolutely astounding radio in its day. Um, as I say, this is the Mark 1. They came in a following Mark 2 and Mark 3 version, as far as I'm aware. Although, somebody has been inside this one, and they've upgraded almost to the Mark 3 specification. We're here on our, uh, we have a series of uh, blocks of 40 channels here. And the Mark 1 usually have 3. A low, mid, high. Somebody's had an extra block on the UK 40. And beneath the low, they've added another 2 blocks of 40. And um, they've converted the ANL button. Uh, that will give you the alpha channels and the noise blanker button that turns the Roger bleep off and on. I'm not particularly fussed about modification like that, I'd nearly prefer the radio to be totally standard as obviously it takes away from the originality of the radio. Um, all mode, FM, AM, upper lower sideband, uh, built in SWR meter and a nice wee feature where uh, you have a, a dual antenna switch where you can have uh, A or B antennas. Uh, a 5 kc uh, swing either side to give you a bit of scope and um, Janet for the condition of it I would give it a 7 out of 10 it has the odd little ding about it the little odd little mark but for 30 year old radio you can't complain uh, I have the original microphone although however I have this little power microphone connected to it I can't put my hand in the original microphone at the moment I also have the original uh, hand there's, there's uh, hand brackets or mounting brackets come here I have those somewhere as well, but I prefer the radio. I think the radio looks nicer without them. Um, you'll see there's a a radio block diagram up on top of the, the radio as well. But uh, certainly a handsome big radio, about 12 watt sidebands and uh, 4 or 5 watt AM, FM and around that. But when you consider the size of it, and when you take the lid off it, at the end of the day, there's not really a terrible lot inside. There's just a, a big empty tin box compared to... Uh, some some modern day uh, HF equipment. But anyhow, folks, there we go. A quick look round a Hammond International Jumbo.